All right, so I can't emphasize this enough that we are all living systems. And when we're looking at living systems, there are some uh, things to pay attention to and to understand. As living systems, we don't get organized, we are organized. And so living systems, all living systems are self-organizing. There's a, a way that they're self-organized in order to maintain themselves. And um, they are self-renewing. So they do things to regenerate their energy. And it's interesting because at the same time they're self-maintaining, they're self-transcending. So they grow and develop over time and in different situations transcend whatever limitations they are had they stayed stuck in the one in the patterns with which they came into. This is work from Fritjof Capra. It's fairly prominent these days in the world of work as they talk about self-organization. So in order for organizations to change and become more honoring of their self-organization, they have to have self-organizing people. Well, we are already self-organizing, but we need to do that with some awareness. So a lot of this is about increasing awareness. So just keeping in mind that we're trying to both honor the self-organization of our own patterns and help our clients do that and help them find, to find ways of maintaining themselves and renewing themselves and transcending themselves. And so one of the things we know about living systems is that living systems have four components or four aspects to them. You can look at a living system and you can see the pattern. And the pattern is what stays the same over time. It's enduring. You know, as you grow up, your head doesn't move to your waistline. Things, other things may move to your waistline, but probably not your head, right? Okay, so that's true in a physical sense. It's also true in a sense of the way our psyches are organized. There are processes, which are activities that help maintain the patterns. And then there is a structure to the system. Structures change the same over, just structures can change over time. Um, speaking of, you know, things moving to the waistline or uh, various aspects of your brain changes over time. Still holding to some of the same pattern that was there in the beginning. And another aspect of living systems is that there's some meaning or purpose to the system. There's something that they're that system is trying to, to accomplish. 